It's happened, guys. We've seen it. This is granted five days old, uh, and I've talked about it before, but we haven't done like a sorted reaction to it yet, as far as I uh, am aware, <laughs> having having done it. And that is gameplay of Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Wybacz i pozwól mi jeszcze tylko raz wykastrować tych bezważnych skurwy synów! Welcome Bro to the first look at the gameplay of Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. A unique action RPG Daddy? with a vast realistic open world and a grand cinematic story. To be clear, full disclosure, I like Kingdom Come Deliverance a lot. I find the game to be the original to be very clunky and have, of course, some some hiccups and problems here and there. But it's still one of the most like remarkable games I've ever played in my life. And I think it is a masterclass in immersion. I think it's a masterclass in in just f setting a, a clear vision for what you, you want your game to be and then pursuing it and seeing it all the way through. It's masterfully done. I really, really like it. It's not for everybody, but if it is for you, man, it is something, something special. It really is. And I think it's also a testament to how some games, you know, can have some quirkiness or clunkiness with them and they can still be, in my view, masterpieces. Maybe not on like the optimization front because Kingdom Come had a lot of problems at launch with like performance and stuff and bugs. But I think there's not another game like it. And that's why so many people are so excited for this game because they are beautiful and they are very unique and very immersive. So I want to be very clear at the outset. I do have a bias with this one because I just happen to be a big fan of the first one. And I'm very excited to see what they do with this one. As the young lad, Henry, you will embark on an unforgettable journey through the beautiful but brutal world of the late Middle Ages. Our task for this quest is to find two men-at-arms, Ranyek and Ada, and recruit them into a rebellious task force of which Henry is part. With a bunch of talented criminals and violent drunks, you're about to unleash a guerrilla warfare against Sigismund, the usurper of the Bohemian throne. Yeah, screw that guy. The first man on the list, Ranyek, was last seen in the nearby village of Bilani, playing dice in the tavern. Let's go ask the local gamblers about him. Dude, it really is beautiful. Look at that. The first game was no slouch, but they really increased foliage density and the lighting is much softer. It's very early. The villagers are just waking up to their everyday chores, milking cows, harvesting crops, or gambling groschen. Greetings. What brings you here so early in the morning? Damn. The innkeeper said you were playing dice already. with Runyek. You know Runyek? Then you must have a drink with us. Same to you. I'd love to. Thanks, but I'd rather know what happened to Runyek. Impatient, aren't you? We can take you to him right now, if you want. Lead the way, then. Come on. Nice fellas. They offered us a drink. And now they'll introduce Ranyek to us. No questions asked. Looking forward to meeting him. Seems like a feel-good quest. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of feel-good quests in uh, <laughs> Kingdom Come. I mean, there are some, but usually there's a, a darker undertone present. Do you want to see him or not? Uh, so where is he? What? Where is he? I don't get it. What happened to him? We met this Runyek in Pshitoki. We even lent him money when he had nothing to play with. He swore he'd pay us back. Then we met here and played some more. Runyek kept losing, but he didn't know when to stop. What did he do to him? When it was clear he had no way to pay us back, we started watching him to make sure he couldn't run away. 
He started whining about having to go take a dump. But we didn't want to watch him shit himself, so we let him go and said we'd wait outside the shit house. But the bastard got the idea to flee the other way. You mean through? But I reckon it was deeper than he thought. And he never came out. What other game has a quest like this? Can you name one? <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna pull Ranyak out. Well, if you say so, but I wouldn't go in there for a golden pig. And when I find him? Just pull him out and search him. That bow of his should fetch a decent price. Jump in then. The life of a true medieval adventurer isn't always about winning epic battles, saving damsels in distress, and forging your own destiny. Sometimes it's about fumbling for corpses in a pile of shit behind the Balani Tavern at 7 a.m. Ah, oh, good. That must be him. Here we go. Oh, finally. Poor Henry. Ugh, this is disgusting. I don't think they deserve the bow after all. Don't be afraid. Be around. Hey, where are you going? Come on, do it. Find the bow. Oh yeah, that is a nice bow. Now, bring us wow. the bow. Not another step. God, what a stitch. So, did you find the bow? Well, I have it, but I won't give it to you. With what I had to go through to find it, it's more of a consolation prize. Did you go mad from wading through shit? Give it to me. Come and get it. Fellas, hold your noses and beat him up. <laughs> KCD2 aims to bring a unique blend of realism and fun into every part of the game, combat included. Our fighting system is built on true medieval martial arts and wrestling techniques. Fluid, thrilling and tactical. As in real combat, movement is the key. As is equipping a good set of armor. Otherwise, you might find yourself in a pickle. Oh, God. Ye gods. <sighs> we should leave before someone notices the new corpses and starts investigating. What the? Did I step in shit? <laughs> oh, it's just you. I, um, didn't have the time to wash up. But I'll do that right away. As proven by this lovely lady, the world reacts to your behavior, looks, and even smell. Murder. I found a body. Time to vanish. In order to properly wash away our morning adventure, let's visit the best bathhouse around, which is located nowhere else than in the great city of Kuttenberg. Look at that. The crown jewel of the Holy Roman Empire the central bank of the kings, a place where people of all sorts come to pursue the bohemian dream and seek their fortune. A city filled with people to befriend or betray and all sorts of adventures and quests for you to uncover. Just so seamless. God be with you. God be with you. 
The city spa? What can I do for you? <laughs> you stinker. <laughs> the giggle. <laughs> you stinker. I don't think there would be a giggle. Just saying, in terms of realism, that's leaving me a little unimmersed. I don't think there'd be a giggle. That being said, uh, I mean, it's if you've played Kingdom Come, the first one, like it's, it's clear there's been a lot of little bitty improvements made all over the place, but it's still Kingdom Come at the end of the day. And and this is what I love about it is that it's it's just so easy to get totally immersed because you do something like that, you do a quest where you're digging through actual crap, and then there there's characters that are commenting on your smell. Like, and so, oh yeah, no, I did do a quest where I, I would stink. So I need to go to a bathhouse or a, a spa and I need to get cleaned up. And then people will compliment me on how good I smell, you know? I need my wounds treated and my clothes washed. And then I'll have a hot bath. Great, but it'll cost you. I'll gladly pay you. You certainly won't regret it. My baths are first class. Now that we're all scrubbed up, let's take a stroll around the city. The world in KCD2 doesn't wait for you to come and trigger the lives of its citizens. All inhabitants have their own day routines. Merchants, wenches, soldiers or executioners. They all wake up, go about their work day, and once that's finished, they go home to their families or to the tavern to their beers. Are you whistling at me? I'm not interested. KCD2 <laughs> aims to bring you a uniquely a reactive and believable drag. world. Whatever you do as Henry, it will have consequences, and you will feel them. Have you haggled too long with the greengrocer about the price of his cabbage? Well, now he's pissed off, and you can forget about any sale. Thrown your favourite hat in front of a beggar kneeling by the church? Come back a minute later, and you'll see him wearing it proudly or killed the local innkeeper's husband. She'll be crying in front of her house the next time you go there, making you feel really miserable. Across this demo... Like, this is just what's refreshing about Kingdom Come, is that they put a lot of effort into that reactivity. Once you play the game, like, you get it, but uh, it seems like they've cranked the dials even further here. And coming off of Star Wars Outlaws, for example, where the AI is, like, the big problem with that game just how stupid the npcs and and enemies are this is just so refreshing it's like oh yeah if you drop a hat in front of a homeless guy he'll pick it up and wear it because of course he would like that just makes sense but in so many other games nowadays ai is just such an oversight which is funny because ai as a buzzword is like bigger than it ever has before ever has been before where every business is like oh yes our our loaf of bread has a recipe designed with AI, and then they expect to be able to sell it for $15 a loaf. But for some reason in video game development, developers are just like, not really considering like the intelligence of their NPCs or enemies when they develop it. It's just such an afterthought, which is a bummer. Because when you have it in a game like Kingdom Come, you get so much more immersed. It's so much cooler to be able to go live in this world and explore it and then see behaviors actually reflecting your behaviors. It's it's wonderful. And yet I feel like it is one of the most underdeveloped and under prioritized elements of game design, unfortunately. But that's where the next frontier is. If there's more games that really push intelligence within NPCs and enemies, I think that's going to pop off. And that's a selling point for a lot of people. I really do believe it. We'll play as a good hearted lad, apart from the ending, though. Spoiler alert. But the game allows you to push Henry towards any behavior, even the most vile. Here's a quick example of what you'll be able to do to stir some mayhem in the city. <laughs> that punch was personal, dude. That was just right on the neck. Hey, did you forget your clothes somewhere? Oh, at your mother's place when I was shagging her. Ha! 
The other thing I appreciate about, about Kingdom Come is that like they will let you break your game. You can like go about killing people and like screwing stuff up and you can get to the point where you're like, I don't even know how I'm supposed to continue with the main story. Like I have pissed off everybody. Everything is like horrifyingly broken, <laughs> but you chose to do it. So they allow you to break your game. And I love that. I love when games are like, you can, you might regret it, but yeah, we'll let you do that thing. Stupid, but sure. That was just a little appetizer. And now I'm hungry again. So I reckon it's time for another course. What do you say? And now, back to our good lad, Henry. Huh? Please, good man. I need some help. A prime example of a random encounter. Sure. What is it you need? I lost something, and I can't find it for the life of me. My leather satchel. I put it down here for a moment, and now it's gone? Where did you put it? Somewhere around here. I made sure it wouldn't be in plain sight. At least I think I did. Oh, a moment's destruction is all it takes. Someone must have filched it from you. If I don't find it, I'm done for. Now hold on. Wait. What are you doing? Give it back right now. Cheeky bugger. 50 groschen. That's worth at least a hug down the bathhouse. Stop. Enough. Had enough. I now hand it back. Everything I... you stole from me. Uh, yeah. That's all of it. Can I can I go now? Piss off. <laughs> Piss off. You're acting like a child. Go and whistle somewhere else. With our groschen back in our pocket, let's Find go to see a going. merchant to stock up on food, sell Ranyek's bow, and head to the whereabouts of the second man on our list. It's Ron Swanson. Fresh bacon is good, but then again, it won't last too long in your inventory. For longer journeys, dried food is always better as it doesn't spoil and you don't risk getting sick from rotten bacon. Vielen Dank. Du wirst sicher zufrieden sein. Bis bald. Now that we're geared up with some food for our hungry Henry, let's proceed with our quest. Time to journey. Yeah, look at that, dude. Oh. The world in KCD2 oh. is filled with places to discover. Yeah, I love those old school UIs. Well, it's just like, it's a fun artistic way of representing the time period and then also communicating all the information about the inventory to the player. And it's just like a little bit more creative than, well, let's just do that destiny menu and then like a radial wheel or two and we'll call it a day. Like it's, it's actually kind of, clever and and different which is just refreshing let's have a look at this old ruin there might be something valuable turn that horse around and get out of here right now right i'm going come on Bro well, needs a drink of water. Be? I told you to get out of here. We should listen to Mr. Marlborough and not provoke him. But given his menacing tone, he must be guarding something valuable. That's a promise we can't leave behind like that. <laughs> Let's change our outfit to something more quiet and drop the chain mail for a bit, so we don't rattle across the whole camp. Okay. 
I love the little UI of the bunny. <laughs> Got him. I heard something. No, good to see you, my friend. If this hits as expected, they'll be the new Larian. Well, I think that this, the the fact that this game is generating a lot of interest and hype, 1.2 million views, like 64,000 likes. People are very, very intrigued by this and very interested. And I think it should tell everybody, like gamers are just looking for the fundamentals. Like they just want a solid game that prioritizes fun above everything else and isn't trying to like teach you anything. It's not trying to be like quote unquote important. It's just trying to be a fun game. And I, I think that they're going to manage it based on what I'm seeing. As you can notice, shields are very handy when you carry only a short weapon and have a free hand. But we cracked it right enough. Let's try to dodge and attack him right after. There you go, Henry. Yes, the weapons and shields can fall apart during combat if they're damaged. Oh, baby. So it always pays off to take good care of them. Ah, I'm just getting mm. started. Victory at last. Now, what should we do with him? You're not going anywhere until I say so. Let me live. Give me everything you have, and I'll let you go. All right, easy now. Just let me go, and I'll give you everything. You promised to free me. Now keep your word. If you rewind a few moments back, you can even see he gave Henry his red shoes. Yeah, I was going to say he's barefoot. Much worse for him. Crunchy. Fuck this! I'm not getting myself killed! There must be something of great value here. Fuck this! I'm not getting myself killed! Oh, yes. Save your schnapps. He's still just freaking A out. classic period potion through which you save the game. This was worth the three kills. Unlike the bow. Yeah, the, uh... <laughs> the... One of the things people love or hate about this game is the save your schnapp stuff because you can't just like pop open a menu, quick save and do something like that or like uh, pop open a menu and permanently save. You, you, the entire thing is tied around the save your schnapps and so saving while out exploring is supposed to be pretty rare and not something you want to do just casually and I kind of love it but again it takes you a good while to, to get used to um, but once you kind of give into it, it's awesome. Now, back to the recruiting campaign. The second man on the list, called Ada, was supposedly misbehaving last night around this village. And the gossip says he was caught with the butcher's wife. Oh, sweet heavens. Hello. Imagine a stranger just coming into your house. Good evening to you. I'm looking for someone, and the innkeeper said you might be able to help. Is that so? Who is it? A wandering man at arms. He's a foreigner, a Pole. They call him Adder. Who are you anyway? Some friend of his? Something, Something like that. Like that. I just need to find him. Dot, dot, dot. Then you better hurry up. My old man wants to murder him. Why does he want to kill him? 
because he's a stubborn fool who won't let me explain and believes gossip over his own wife. Mm. Then calm down Pray and tell. tell me what happened. <sighs> Nothing happened. I mean, not that the Paul wasn't interested. He was looking at me all night at the inn, but I avoided him. Did you? I'm sorry, but I couldn't help but notice. Is that bruise from the butcher? He doesn't mean it. He just doesn't know what he's doing when he's angry. Here you go. A potion for the pain. It should help you quickly. Thank you. And where will I find your husband, Adder, and the rest? Outside the village, in the direction of Kuttenberg. There's a lone tree in the middle of the field. You can see it from a distance. They said that's where they take him, so that no one can see them. I better go and see your husband. Quickly. The sooner it's over, the better. Hurry up, please. We should hurry up then. A violent mercenary and a jealous wife beater behind the village can't end up well. What are you? That looks like a lone tree in a field. Pani, mój Boże, wysłuchaj mnie. Całe życie mordowałem i ruchałem. Więcej razy paliłem kościoły niż byłem u spowiedzi. Wybacz swoją słudze. Wybacz. Wybacz i pozwól mi jeszcze tylko raz wykastrować tych Bezbaznych skurwy synów! Oh, shut up! No one can listen to you, damn gibberish! Twoja baba i tak do końca życia będzie pamiętać o mojej polskiej kiełbasie! Oh, shut that gob of yours! Ciebie i twoją matkę piekło pochłonie. Niech was piekło pochłonie! Sean, thank you. Stop. I thought it was a cutas. Leave him alone and untie him. Why would I do that? Do you know what that bastard did? Or tried to do? If you're talking about the rumors in the village, it's all lies. Nothing happened. You don't know what you're talking about. That whore son defiled my wife, my Eva, eh? He should be glad we're only gonna hang him. If I had my way, we'd castrate him as well. Oh. I saw that mark you left on your wife's face. Jesus that was no accident, was it? What are you on about? The random guy in the background. <laughs> I saw the mark on your wife's face. Jesus Christ be praised. Listen again. It's on your wife's face. Jesus that was no accident, was it? <laughs> what are you on about? So, yeah, that's a weird time to praise, <laughs> praise Jesus. Okay, whatever. You'll raise your hand to a defenseless woman, but you need a whole gang to take on a man. Think you can insult me, do you? Shut your gob. Get him, lads. Oh, no. Oh, both the Kirby. Yeah, my God. All right. Well, at least Eva can find someone nicer now. Hang in there, bro. I mean, not like hanging, but uh, you know what I mean. I feel quite hungry. <laughs> I feel quite hungry. Does it translate? Oh yeah, it does. I just assumed it wasn't going to translate it, and nobody spoke the language, but I guess it does. Uh, I reckon you want to know who I am, right? I'm Henry. 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 
A dlaczego ty mówisz do mnie jak do głupca? Yes, that's me. Henry. I was sent by Dry Devil. He's waiting for you at the Devil's Den. O, żeś kurwa! Czart żyje? To jeszcze go nie powiesili? Huh. Kurwa, patrz, głupim to szczęście sprzyja. As you say, in the Devil's Den. That's where all of us are supposed to meet. O! Złaciutki! Kocham cię! Chodź ze mną! Musimy to opić w czartówce. Go ahead. I'll meet you there later. Dobra. To tam się spotkamy. Kurwa. Już się nie mogę doczekać jakiegoś ruchanka. What a day, Henry. You did good. Now, off to find a bed, a bite to eat, and prepare for more tales to come. Good. This concludes our gameplay showcase of Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Get ready for more exciting I mean, peaks into this. Shocker. It looks it looks really solid. Again, clunky. Combat's always a little like stiff and you know, some of the dialogue and NPC animations and stuff are a little clunky, but but like again, that's not really why you're playing a game like this. And why you're playing it is for the reactivity, for the immersion, for the setting, the story, the characters. And all of that seems to be top notch. And this is just, it seems like it's going to be Kingdom Come Deliverance, but with a bigger budget, more dev time. And that's pretty much all any of us really wanted. So, <laughs> I mean, it's exactly, exactly what you want. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in for it. I'm excited. It comes out February 11th, 2025. We're going to keep looking at it, keep watching it, but this is one where I'm, I'm excited. I'm pretty excited for it. <music> He took my thing.